So I've made a few videos recently which you can check out where I have expressed concern that the mainstream media is pushing for the normalization of pedophilia. We've had Facebook being alerted to pedophiles using the platform to post explicit images of children and them not doing anything about it. We've had the mainstream media's easy forgiveness for Takeshi69. We've had various people on Twitter trying to justify maps as an actual valid sexuality. And Twitter hasn't done anything about that. Now the question is why would the mainstream media try and do that? Do you know how many of the world's elite have been exposed to be pedophiles and how little has been done about this? Gradually the general public are becoming more and more aware of this, especially with the recent leaks of Jeffrey Epstein's Black Book. So I believe that before the die is cast and before everyone turns on the rich and powerful, the rich and powerful are trying to convince us that pedophilia is perfectly normal and okay. And if you believe that is simply a conspiracy theory, explain the evidence. And while we're on that subject, we have more evidence with the recent Netflix scandal. Netflix is probably the biggest household name in the streaming service industry. And because of that, the consumer trusts Netflix, just as you would trust Facebook. These are some of the biggest brands in the world, as if there'd be any kind of pedophilia scandal going on there. And because that trust is there, it allows you to give them the benefit of the doubt when shit like this comes up. Enter Cuties. Now, I don't really know anything about this movie. I haven't seen any trailers for it. Why? Because I don't want the FBI knocking on my door. That is, if they haven't already been told to go lenient on this sort of thing. But from my understanding, Cuties was originally a French film called Mignons. Forgive the pronunciation there, I'm not French. But it was a major player at the Sundance Film Festival that has recently been picked up by Netflix. And the film is just this story of these 11 year old girls that kind of discovered a sense of maturity and independence through dance. I reserve judgment for the film because as I say I haven't seen it and I don't really have any interest in seeing it. It's not, it's not really in line with my interests. But then you look at what Netflix has done with it for the more global worldwide release of this film. So the title has been changed to Cuties, which I believe means the same thing as Mignons. Again, I'm not French, I don't know. But now in the description of the film, there is an emphasis on twerking. Okay, alarm bells are ringing now. Now there's gonna be some people making the defense that twerking is something that a lot of kids do do anyway. And yeah, that's probably true. There's a lot of pressure for kids to get into this sort of stuff at a very early age these days, and it is completely inappropriate, but it is just stuff kids do behind closed doors. That doesn't mean we should make a fucking movie about it though. Kids are gonna do as kids do. They're gonna have their first kisses. They're gonna have their first discovery of their adult feelings. Sometimes it's at age 11, sometimes it's later, sometimes it's even even earlier somehow. That doesn't mean that Mr. Hollywood with his movie camera needs to get involved. But okay, if this isn't weird enough for you already, now I'm not gonna show the poster. I'm not. Because it's completely inappropriate and I don't want it on my channel. You guys can look for that. But I have seen it. It's this image of the girls all in these very, very highly sexualized poses, pushing their asses out while wearing very skimpy, tight and revealing outfits. While standing in front of lighting on a stage which is very reminiscent to the promo material for Magic Mike. They are marketing this like it is the 11 year old girl equivalent to fucking Magic Mike. Are you kidding me, Netflix? Now, people have contacted Netflix about this, and their justification has been, well, we allow freedom of expression from all different religions and cultures. Pedophilia is not a religion or a culture, Netflix. And the same goes for every MAP that wants to try and justify this any further. They have since removed the artwork and issued a bizarre apology, but it's kind of a thing where the photography session was done, these girls were dressed and directed in this way, it's kind of a bit too late. The dye's already cast, the ink is already dry. So once again guys, make your voices heard, people cannot just get away with this, they are not going to normalize this. No matter what trusted brands seem to be on their side, they will not get away with normalizing pedophilia, we cannot let them. Also, for those believing that it's satanic groups that are doing all the pedophilia, it's a distraction, guys. The satanic bible is literally one of the only bibles that explicitly states not to bring harm to any children. So don't get distracted, focus on the enemy at hand here. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how fucking disgusted are you by this? And if you like comic book movie content and other stuff like that, why don't you hit subscribe? But if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. In the description below are many links that can take you to different places. 
places where you can come and interact with me, but if you're feeling extra generous and extra supportive, there's also a link to the Patron and a Join button. But of course, no biggie, you don't have to do that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great day, and for Christ's sake, keep an ear to the ground, man. Stay safe out there.